Hey guys, welcome to this Costco taste test video. You guys said that you wanted to see it, so here we are. We have just a couple of things to try, but we thought we would do it as a whole family because there's lots of uh, stuff that Tristan can eat this time. So we're gonna start with dessert. Let's start with the cookies. Now they've already had both of these cookies. It's been a couple of days, and they like both of them, which is awesome. Uh, which one do you wanna try first? Which cookie? I'll try those one a half a day. I didn't try those one a day, but I want that one. Okay, so Tristan says he wants to try these ones first. These ones are the Partake cookies. They're double chocolate brownie, and they are soft cookies, which is good because Tristan typically doesn't like a crunchy cookie. It comes with four packs in here. These were on sale, and I'm already regretting not buying more. I bought two boxes, but I might go back this week just to stock back up because these were such a good deal on sale. Yeah, these don't expire until next year, which is perfect, so I think I'm gonna go back and stock up, but let's give it a try. Oh, cookie cheers. Cookie cheers. Cookie cheers. 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 <laughs> good. Good? Yeah. Do you like it? What does it taste like? It tastes like chocolate like you like. It tastes like chocolate like you like? Yep. <laughs> Is chocolate your favorite? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, you don't like chocolate. So I, I know. Why am I trying it? Because I don't like chocolate. You're right. But actually, I have to say that the name is spot on. It tastes like a brownie almost. Yeah. Don't you agree? I think it's really good. Yeah, these are really good. Especially if you have allergies, this is amazing. They're top eight allergy friendly, so they are gluten free and vegan. But if you don't have any food allergies, I would still get this because this is such a good deal. It's relatively good ingredients, I mean, for a cookie, and it tastes like you're eating a brownie. So if you like brownies, I would give these a try. These are actually really good. And as you can tell, both kids love it. Yeah, definitely approve on this one. This one was really good. Okay, so we're on to the second cookie that Costco had this month. I'm loving all the options for the kids. These ones are the Siete Grain-Free Cookies Mexican Wedding Cookies. Uh, they're made with almond flour and coconut oil. So these ones are a harder cookie, uh, but the kids still like these ones, which is good. And then I don't think, me and Brent haven't tried them yet, only the kids. So let's dig in, everyone gets a cookie and they're coated with a powdered sugar coating Yay. on the top very heavily. You like these ones, Tristan? Mm. Daddy really likes these ones too. You like these ones? Oh. Like them. Do you like this? Yes. Yes, is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. These ones are my favorite just because, as you guys know, as Tristan pointed out earlier, I don't really like chocolate. So the other ones were very chocolatey um, and it tasted like a brownie, which I can appreciate. But these ones are good, it has a, uh, nice powdered sugar coating on the top. It's crunchy and it has what like a cinnamon flavor to it. Yeah, a nice cinnamon flavor These ones are personally my favorite. You like these ones better too, Brent? Yeah, I do. Yeah, these ones are amazing. Tristan, which one was your favorite cookie? I'm a, a chocolate one. The chocolate one, yeah. He loves chocolate, so I knew that one was going to be his favorite. But he still likes these ones too. So kind of whatever your preference is. Like I said before, though, if you guys are not gluten-free or vegan, I would still eat these. You cannot tell a difference, and they are really good. So Siete always makes really great products. Okay, so next up, we are going to be trying the gluten-free chocolate banana muffins. They are in the freezer section, so you can keep them in the freezer, which is great because they'll last a while. And then you can just either take them out and let them defrost on the counter, so they're perfect to pack in kids' lunches. You throw it in, by the time lunch comes around, they're defrosted. Or you can warm them up in the microwave. We didn't have time to defrost them, so I did warm this up in the microwave. Um, so yeah, let's give these a try. These ones are gluten-free, but there is egg in them, so he's allergic to that, so Tristan can't try these ones. Um, but the rest of us will give it a try. Aiklin, was this good? Is that good, yes or no? Well, you already said it. Okay, so yeah, these ones taste like a uh, banana muffin with chocolate chips in it. So if you like both those things, um, I think you would like them. I think they're great for kids, like I said, to pack in snacks. That's who we bought them for. We bought them for her. Uh, for her lunches. So they're not anything that I would eat. Like I said, I bought them for Lakeland for her lunches. They're good. It tastes like a banana chocolate chip muffin. Just not my personal thing. I want to eat that. I don't think Brent, you didn't really care for them. I don't care for them. They're not like gross, but they're not really good either. Yeah, so. and you don't like banana things though. Is that, that, 
probably why, huh? Yeah, so, I mean, if you like a banana chocolate chip muffin and you're looking for something, then yeah, I would definitely give these a try. Okay, so the last thing that we have to try is the little lunch kit that I got. It came with a sandwich and a Caesar salad. Uh, so the Caesar salad, this is all of it on our plate, and it's perfect lunch for either two people or you can have it yourself and you can split it between two days. The Caesar salad, like I said, was a lot. It came with everything that you need. It had the dressing, croutons, cheese, and even a lemon to sprinkle on top. And then it had two halves of a sandwich. It's a croissant sandwich with meat, cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes. And then the sandwich also comes with this honey mustard uh, dressing. It's a lot. Like I already put a little bit of this on both of our sandwiches and we still have a whole container full of it. So it definitely doesn't skimp on the honey mustard, so. Let's give it a try. If you want to go for the salad first. Yeah, let's do the salad first. Okay. And Caesar salad's your favorite, huh? Yeah. When it comes to salads, yes. Yeah. I'd rather have a hamburger, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Mm -hmm. Salad's good. It's fresh. Yeah. The salad is perfect. It came with more than enough dressing. I poured the whole container of dressing because we do like a heavier dressing on ours. And it's a perfect amount with the croutons and the lemon sprinkled over. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so last we just have to try is the sandwich. And I will say, I mean, if you see that, it's kind of too That's... bright, but there's tons of meat on here. So you're getting your money's worth. I think this whole thing was only $10. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you like it? Oh yeah, tons of meat, cheese. Mm-hmm. It's really good. I love a croissant sandwich. It's one of my favorite, nice and flaky and soft. Like you said, tons of meat on it. And then the honey mustard uh, little dressing that they gave you is perfect. I'll probably add just a little bit more, but I mean, we still have this whole container. So I might make some sandwiches later on in the week and use this because I don't want this to go to waste. Um, but overall, like I said, for the price, this is a perfect lunch uh, kit at Costco. Definitely 100% recommend. Yeah. What is your overall? Oh, I love it. It's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So yeah, this was a pretty short haul, but overall, uh, definitely would recommend this. The, both the cookies were great. The kids love those. And the muffins were okay, but Lakeland will eat them. I think they're perfect for kids. Yeah. Um, a perfect lunch snack for them. So yeah, overall, like I said, everything was really good. Thanks so much for watching this taste test video. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.